Oldest outfitters in the country uses llamas on their tracks, and they have a reputation for that. Now they have some new owners. But as Maran Sue reports, these packers are always up for a change and a challenge. This is Jingles, and Jingles is one of a handful of llamas here at Swan Mountain Outfitters. Llama Trek guide Austin Beck says now under new ownership, Swan Mountain Outfitters is one of the oldest outfitters in the country. Operating since 1977, Beck tells me there's pressure to maintain the well-known outfitting company. A lot of famous people have been on Steve's treks previously to uh, the George H. Bush's vice president went on two treks with Steve. Uh, and just in general, just having so many people have so many good experiences since 1977 uh, out there in the Swan Range, I think there's definitely a lot of pressure. The treks vary from half day hikes to overnight trips. While visitors hike, the llamas do the heavy lifting. Eventually it can get up to that 80 to 100 pound mark is what they'll the goal for them to be carrying is. Originally from Peru, Beck tells me how llamas fare in Montana's terrain. It is a similar climate uh, to where they originate from in Peru and Argentina, uh, a bit higher elevation there. Um, but in terms of how cold it can get here in the winter, the dryness of it. Luckily, junior llama trek guy Lola Tabor says llamas are really low maintenance. Tabor has been wrangling llamas since she was seven. The easiest part about llamas is probably like, well, you don't really have to do much, just have to feed them and they'll graze in their pen. Being low maintenance, Beck says this makes llamas good pets. However, if you want to take on a llama, Beck says each llama needs a quarter acre of grass to graze and you need at least two as llamas are social creatures. So if you're interested in llama treks with Jingles right here, Swan Mountain Outfitters has a variety of excursions into the wilderness. In Swan Lake, Marin Sioux, MTN News.